what are the what are the hidden benefits? What are the surprise benefits that your that your clients experience when they work with you? Um, one of the things that comes up fairly frequently is the whole idea that the the person I'm working with who has basically been living in this spot for a while, okay, and at some point if they're living there long enough, they they succumb to the idea that this is all it's going to be, forever, forever. This, oh. As long as I'm doing this, this is how it's going to be, and in fairly quickly into the process what they start to realize is it doesn't have to be this way. Now, it's going to take me a while to make the change, but I'm now starting to see evidence that I can actually change this. And that happens fairly early. Fairly early. And how do they feel about that? Well, initially there's a lot of surprise because what you're really dealing with are belief systems where, no, this is not possible. So now you get some surprise. And that moves very quickly into almost a liberating feeling of, oh my gosh, I can actually control my own destiny. I can actually move this ship or move myself in the direction that I want to go in. So you get that, you know, it's, it's like- It's elation almost. It's elation, I can't wait for the next call. You know, well, at some point after that, when we start actually getting into the work of making the fundamental change, change mm -hmm. that's when the graph starts to swing in a little different direction. <laughs> that's well, when you start getting into a little bit of overload, a little bit of disillusionment, I didn't realize it was gonna be this hard, you know, because what's happening, quite honestly, is they're attempting to adopt new learning behaviors. They haven't completely gotten rid of the old ones. Right, there's a transition. Right, yeah. and the transition can get a little muddy in the middle. So I'm a golfer, right? right? And, and, and I've you know, taken many, many lessons, right? And a lot of times, whenever you go to a lesson, your game gets worse because you're now oh, trying yeah. to incorporate that lesson, <laughs> yes. right? And until you get the practice and the feedback, there's a transition period there. Your, yes. your score doesn't just go down, right? It's the same concept, right? You're in that transition. It becomes a little bit more turbulent, a little bit more difficult, a little more challenging. Yes. Um, but the idea is the results afterwards. That's what you're looking for. That's right. what you have to drive for. And that goes back to the original thing we were talking about, about getting people really heavily wed to the purpose for why they're doing it. The importance. Because when they're in that trough, when it looks like it's like a lot harder and there's some things blowing up that probably wouldn't have blown up before if I hadn't tried this, um, that's when you have to keep reminding them, okay, this is the reason you're doing it. This is a long-term benefit. This is the why. You just why. gotta keep, you gotta stay on the road a little longer.